This is Twit. Charlie in Moreno Valley, California. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Leo. Hey. Yeah, I've been listening to your show for uh, quite a while. And it's a great show. And uh, this Thank is the you. first call. And uh, I have a dilemma. Uh, I'm an older guy. I'm not very tech savvy, but my kids are. And uh, what I need is uh, to date myself. I still use, uh, believe it or not, uh, those old PDA Palm Pilots. Wow. <laughs> those are great, but they never, they never stop working. Yeah, they keep keeps on working. It works great. I have a, a Palm One, uh, the tungsten E2. Yeah, I had one of those. They're great. <laughs> they're not even. You know, it's funny. They're not even that old. What is it? Ten years old? Twelve years old? It's not that old. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I, I like using it uh, because uh, you know the, the font is big and um, sure. Uh, I like using it for uh, the contacts. Uh, what I like about the contacts on my PDA versus uh, the iPhone 5, which I have, is... is that Wait a minute, you have an iPhone 5 and you still use the Palm? That's what the kid says. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm not laughing. That's great. If You you know I, what? I, you know, I, That's I, great. I if you work. love it, it works. What's wrong with that? Well... Uh, one thing I do like about the the, uh, the Palm One, especially with my contacts list, is I can categorize all my all my uh, phone numbers under uh, medical, dental, legal, uh, work, um, which I don't believe the iPhone Five is able to do. Is, is, am I mistaken? Uh, uh, category, so you could say work, and you know, gosh, you know, I think it does that, but um, that is a nice feature. Um, and I do that in my uh, Android uh, phone. I'm pretty sure the iPhone will support that. Yeah, well, you know, I'm not very tech savvy guy. Let me, let me and, look. Uh, you let know, when look. I go to my contact list on my iPhone, I just kind of keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling until I find the yeah, that's name no the good. person I want to call, whereas on my uh, Palm One, you just narrow it down. Uh, yeah, I go ahead. So you can. So I think that's a very good point. You can, in fact, have a category for contacts on the iPhone, but I don't think there's a way to view by category, which m makes that eliminates kind of that that feature. Be that's nice. what I kind of like. It. Yeah, yeah and on the on the Palm Pilot, is I hit contacts, and boom, on the right side it shows up uh, all numbers under medical, dental, legal, whatever category. I want to uh, make so, and the and all you really care about is that you can sort the contact list by groups. That's one thing I like. Anything uh, else you need? Well, uh, I like the memo uh, part of the of the tungsten. Also, see what's uh, happened in the thing. modern world is that you have a contact list and you have a separate program for memos. You know, it's not one desktop, but it's all of them. It's all individual apps. Yeah, I was. <clears throat> one big thing is, you know, like everybody else, I have so many usernames and uh, passwords for er everything. Trying to find a, a safe place to store them. Yeah, you want soft? That's software that's called LastPass, and you can I, get it's free for your computer. LastPass.com. Latch. Last, yeah. last, like the final one you'll ever use again. Oh, last. Last pass. Pass. Last. Pass. Okay. <laughs> it's a LastPass, and that's a great, LastPass.com, a great program for your computer. Uh-huh. And uh, you put all your passwords in there. You remember one master password, and everything else is secure and encrypted and protected. Oh, I think I tried that tried one time, but I'll go ahead and try it again. Any and, uh, Android phone will let you group by uh, by a category or... or uh, um, so that would solve that problem, but, but iPhones do not. It's yeah, a, and that's because Apple's just in its infinite wisdom has decided not to, and you don't have any other choice. Uh, there may be another contact program though that you could use on the iPhone that would do that. I think the best thing to do would be to try to find a way to make it work on your iPhone. Then you only have to carry one device around. Yeah, I, yeah. iPhone. Well, here's one thing that I would recommend. I use uh, Google for my contacts and my notes. Google has a free note application for the iPhone called Keep. Google Keep. And uh, the contacts will sync up with your Apple contacts. So Keep will let you keep. Actually, Apple has its own Reminders app or uh, Notes app, which is actually pretty good. Um, uh, you know, I think, truthfully, you can do everything you want to do 
on the iPhone 5. Let, what we need to find you, though, is one contact manager that will let you sort by groups or categories. Android will, but uh, iPhone won't. And that's just because Apple just, I don't know why, didn't build that feature in. Uh, LastPass is free on the on the computer, on the laptop. If you, you can also put it on your iPhone, but you have to pay a buck a month for the premium version. And, oh, apparently there are Palm emulators for the iPhone. Ah, that's interesting. Let's find, let's find something uh, for you that emulates. Wouldn't that be cool? Something that does the Palm desktop on your iPhone. Now, uh, Heather has come to the rescue. She says you can, in fact, have groups on your iPhone. No problem. The reason it's confusing is you have to create the groups off the iPhone on your iCloud account or on a computer. Is that right, Heather? Or these are groups that existed before? It does not appear that way. You can create groups? You can assign somebody to a group? It'll start you out with a handful. Yeah. Your at max, your family and friends. Right. And, and then, then you can assign people to new groups. And then in the upper, you're saying the upper left-hand corner, and you're using iOS 7, I think. Mm -hmm. In the upper left-hand corner of the Context app, you can choose which group. And then it sorts them. Seems like this is exactly what he wanted. So maybe he doesn't need a Palm desktop emulator. Let's move into the future, <laughs> or at least the last few years.